Cobblestone is such an amazing block. Let's talk more about that. Quick announcement, this is my first tutorial video, so if I butcher this, please don't scold me. And if you want to see me do a tutorial for something else you are struggling with, then please leave a comment below. I also want to point out, you should not AFK this, you are allowed to pay attention to something else, but you actually have to be at your computer when doing this. For example, when I was doing this, I was watching The Mandalorian on the TV, while I had one hand on the W key, while holding the mouse in the same hand. Now if that's out of the way, let's continue with the video. Cobblestone has a nice collection. It's the first minion you get, and it's an effective money making method. This money making method can easily get you 50,000 in 10 minutes. I'll explain the early game and late game methods to this contraption. So, when it comes to building, you can build it a couple of ways. You can build it short, you can build it really long. But for the sake of the video, we'll just have a row of cobblestone 10 blocks long. The materials you would need for this is 4.5 stacks of building blocks, I'm using iron blocks, 50 cobblestone. 40 glass, 10 signs, a magical water bucket, 50 lava buckets, 6 obsidian, and a pair of teleport pads. First you want to bridge out or designate a 12 block by 6 block area anywhere on your island. Build up one apart from the row you'll be running down, one side would be 2 blocks wide and the other would be 3. And then let's go to the 2 block side first. Build up one more time and then build up five times going around the outside. Then onto the three block wide section, build up six times around the outside. Next you want to be sure to not break it mid session, so place an obsidian on each side of the row you'll be running down. Place two above the head going in and build up four on the other side blocking off the exit point. Then you'll want to have ten signs and place them along the row. This is so you don't get caught in water when trying to mine the cobblestone. Then using a magical water bucket you want to go along the top of the three block side. You can swim up and place another layer so you can pour a glass roof, but it's your build so do what you feel. Using the 50 lava buckets you can begin making the generator. Placing a row of cobblestone before placing the lava is very important otherwise it won't work. Repeat this process until you have used all 50 lava buckets, and then if you choose to, you can place the roof. You could also place sea lanterns in the cobblestone generator for light, but yet again this is your preference. Then give it a test drive, you don't know if it works until you've tried it out. If you've made a happy accident, then don't worry and you can look back on the video to see where you've gone wrong. So, now that you've built the generator, now it's time to look at the materials needed for this. Quite simple. Early game players use an efficiency 5 pickaxe along with haste 3 potions or minor armour. Haste 3 potions are easy to make, with all the ingredients you can make a 17 minute haste 3 potion. You make 3 potions at a time with the material cost of roughly 2000 coins, as opposed to the minor outfit costing roughly 20 to 30,000 coins for an infinite use, but for haste 2. Late game players simply want to replace that golden pickaxe with a stonk. This bad boy has an efficiency 6 on it and costs a bargain amount of 4 dollars and if you want to, you could invest in either making or buying from the auction house a legendary silverfish, as opposed to the potions, although it's really your choice. Legendary silverfish have a haste 3 on them, so you'd never run out, and you could always level up that silverfish for a sweet profit when you've leveled it up a decent amount with both a better pickaxe and infinite haste 3. You could get your player speed up a little bit, but not too much otherwise you'd most likely run out of mining speed. And the last thing you'd definitely want is to get the super compactor 4000 or higher, then slap an enchanted cobblestone in there and watch your inventory fill up quicker than a Formula 1 race car in pit stops. In terms of money per 10 minutes, I timed myself for both early game method and late game method to see if there was much of a difference. So here we go for early game. And the results are 47,000 per 10 minutes. I'd say a good 30 seconds or so overall was spent crafting cobblestone into enchanted cobblestone. And here is late game for 10 minutes starting now. And the result is 59,000 per 10 minutes. So there you go, you make 1.25 times more in late game than early game. But that doesn't mean that you need to rush your way to late game, you do. And it doesn't mean that late game players are better than early game players. They are. Okay, let me restart that. 
Price per 10 minutes for early game players is still a good amount and definitely up there as an alright money making method. If you feel the 1.25 times makes a huge difference and you'd collect enough money to make your money back, then you should invest into the late game method. But if you don't want to be doing it too much, then consider sticking to the early game. Despite the lack of a super compactor, you could definitely use a mining sack instead to compensate for the fact that you would need to open your inventory and craft enchanted blocks every 3 minutes. A large sack would cost about 75,000 in materials and could extend the time from 3 minutes to just over 33. I feel I've covered pretty much everything there is to cover on this and even though I plan to make a tutorial, I feel as though the second half of the video was more of a guide or how to video. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and if you want to see more content I've made like this then please subscribe. It's been your boy Pomegranate and I'll catch you later.